Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see what is spec and how can we use spec in Kotlin to write test cases which are similar to BDD, BDD style of uh, approach, right? So if you are uh, familiar about BDD, BDD is behavior driven development. So um, there are lots of frameworks in Java like Cucumber and stuff. So which uh, with which you can write some behavior driven uh, test cases. So for Kotlin, there is a framework called spec okay so you can write j units in the form of bdd so that is what we are going to see here so spock is uh, spec is nothing but a uh, framework created by jetbrains uh, it is open source so you can use that as a library and then you can uh, write your uh, test cases okay so that is what we are going to see so i have opened a, um, a test uh, project for us okay it's a maven project so i have uh, created a maven project with all the dependency so the dependency which we need for uh, spec is we need the spec api okay this is coming from uh, org jetbrains and spec you have the spec api okay and then also you need the spec junit platform engine so spec runs on junit 5 so you might need this uh, uh, junit platform engine and also you need the platform junit platform run so if you see the junit 5 junit 5 has been split into lots of chunks like Jupyter platform and stuff like that. So we need uh, those dependencies. Okay. So what we are going to see here is uh, we are going to write a program for a game called Fizzbuzz. Okay. If you are familiar with this game, so there will be children who will be seated uh, um, uh, seated in circles. So they will be um, counting numbers from one to whatever number they like. Okay. So they will be like one, two, three, whatever. Okay. Every child has to tell a number. So whenever a child who is supposed to tell a number is divisible by 3, they have to sell, uh, say fizz instead of the number. Okay. So if let's say I am the third kid, if, the, if, if it is my turn, I have to say fizz instead of the number. And also the kid who is going to be telling the number 5 has to say buzz. So it's basically like the numbers which are divisible by 3 and 5 needs to be converted into fizz and buzz respectively. Okay. If there are other numbers, they have to just say the number. Okay, so that is the program which we are going to write. So we can, uh, we, it's, it's simple enough, right? I don't want to write uh, Fibonacci series or something like that, which we had been writing throughout our year, right? So that is why I chose this uh, Fizzbuzz example. Okay, so let me write a Fizzbuzz class for it. Okay, so uh, meanwhile, I, I am a fan of interfaces. I write interfaces wherever I feel like I need to write. So I am just writing an interface. Okay, so I'm just going to say function calculate. Okay, this is going to calculate whether it is a fizz or a buzz or a number. Okay, and also I'm just going to say num and it, I'm going to pass an integer, right? So I need to pass an integer. So if I give a number, then that particular fizz buzz class should give me whether it is a fizz or a buzz or a number, right? So I just wrote that. So now we need to use this particular interface here. So I'm just using this interface. Now IntelliJ is going to complain me with saying, okay, use the implement. So I'm just saying implement my class. Okay. So what do we need to do here? So we need to return. A, actually, we didn't write the return type here. If I, the return type would be string, right? So you give a number, but you need a string. So I'm just going to say return, return me the number itself. So by default, I'm just going to say return me the number and then just convert into a string okay so this is just complaining because my return type is not there so i've added a return type here so i'm just returning so if you notice here what i'm doing is i'm just returning the uh, number by converting it into a string that's it so let's go ahead and write a test case for it okay i'm just going to say create test so i'm just writing a junit 5 test okay so what am I going to do is I'm just going to say I don't need these no, 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 no. so I'm just going to implement spec okay so this spec is complaint coming from the spec API okay so what I need to do is I need to write the whole test inside a spec so I don't have to write stuff here instead I need to write it inside the spec so spec expects a lambda expression so I just need to write it this way so it, it's like passing the whole test case to the spec API okay so that is why you need to do that so if you see here 
I just open the argument and then inside that I'm writing a test. So how do I write a test now? So what do we need basically is uh, we need to create a fizzbuzz object, right? So I'm just saying fizzbuzz. Fizzbuzz is of type, uh, what is it? It's of type interface and then I'm going to say fizz. I'm just going to create a new instance of the fizzbuzz, right? That's it. So we are set. Now, how do I write the test case? So how do I describe? So in a, if you take a typical BDD uh, test case, right? You write, you start writing describe. So um, if you are familiar with Jasmine for writing test cases in JavaScript, so it is similar to that. You can write describe it and stuff like that. So I'm just going to describe this uh, test case as calculate fizzbuzz logic. Okay. So again, this expects a lambda expression now again. Okay, now again, I'm going to write start writing test cases. So the describe is something similar to uh, saying that, okay, these are a group of test cases which are describing this functionality or the behavior basically. Okay, so that is why we it's a BDD style, right? So this is going to tell us a behavior of this particular FISBUS. So we are saying that, okay, calculate the bus, uh, bus, uh, FISBUS logic. Okay, so now for what do we need to know now? First, we need to do it for a number. So I'm just typing number you can write whatever text you want so I'm just typing number for simplicity so we need to check whether the fizzbuzz is a number or not right so I'm just going to call fizzbuzz and I'm going to say calculate I'm just I'm going to pass one okay so and let's assert this right I'm, I'm going to say assert dot assert equals so let's use assert equals okay I'm just going to check if this is returning one Okay, that is that is my assertion. So let's run this test case. Okay, so what do I expect? So when I give a number, which is one, which is not divisible by either three or five, it should return the same number, right? So that is what I expect. So it should return the same number and this should go to success. So let's see if it goes to success. Yeah, it has gone to success. Okay. Now, what do I need to do? I need to check if it is fizz right I'll just say check for her okay so I'm going to again write the same thing as a dot assert equals fizzbuzz dot calculate and in this case I'm going to pass 3 and I'm going to expect do I do I expect 3 so the 3 will pass but I need a fizz right so let's run the test case and see if it passes no obviously it will not pass right because we have not written that logic here right so let me split this vertically so that i can show the test case in parallel okay so this is the test code in the left side and the main code is here okay so if you notice here the test has failed saying that okay expected three but it was face and if you notice here this is how it shows in the left side okay so now i need to write the logic for uh, three right so what do i need i just need to check if the number is divisible by three then what do i do I just say return fizz okay I'm just doing that so let's run the test case again it will pass right yeah it has passed so that basically means fizz is working now what do we need to do next we need to do the buzz so I'm just writing another test case so it these it are all similar to JUnit test cases so I'll I'll just show you how to write JUnits as well I'll just show you in the same video itself I'll just show you how JDD um, sorry uh, JUnits are generally different from this BDD style yeah right so I'm just saying buzz okay it fails obviously because it is going to return 5 so I just need to put another logic called 5 and then I just say buzz right so I'm just running it yeah all my test cases are passed so if I run it with coverage I, I generally have a practice of running test cases with coverage so that I'm confident that okay all my branch branches are covered basically okay So yeah, if you see it is showing green for everything, so that basically means everything is covered. So yeah, that, that's what I expect. So this is how you write a test case inside a spec. So which is basically 
showing us the BTT style of writing J units. Okay, so if I had written this in a J unit style, right? If I had written this in a J unit four style, let's say I can say J unit five, but I can start writing J unit four, right? So let's say J unit. Okay. So what we would have done? We would have gone here. We would have said at uh, test, right? So we would have written test his bus. Actually, I'm just start writing uh, Java code. If you notice, public void and all those things. So we don't have to do that in Kotlin. So you just say function, and then you start writing it. So this is what happens right when you are uh, learning two languages and you are working on two different languages so yeah this is how you write a test in Scot uh, Kotlin so what I'm gonna say I'm gonna say let's say I'm gonna say variable fizz buzz right equal to fizz buzz so I'm just creating the object and I'm just going to do the same thing. So assertions are all same, right? So basically, I'll just copy that from here. Okay. So if I run this class, so this should also do the same thing. But the only difference is this is a BTT style approach. So if you notice here, there is no difference here in in a JUnit test with the. Um, uh, BTT test, but the only thing is if I read this particular J unit test, I don't make a sense of it. I just say test fizz bus, but I'm not doing anything. So I, I have to read the code literally and I have to understand the code literally to see what it is doing. But if it if you take a spec test, right? Basically a specification test. So spec is a specification, right? So you have a specification return here. So if you see, I say describe, calculate fizz bus logic, okay. And then I'm saying check if it is a number so I, I, I can make it meaningful but I just made it check number but if you read this you will be able to understand what each test case does okay check number as check number check face check bus so this is how BDD differs from a typical J unit right so this is how you can write test using spec so if you are working in Kotlin you can use this um, uh, spec framework so which is created by JetBrains for uh, making our life simple in order to write BDD style of test cases okay and also if you see spec is all open source so uh, the project uh, spec is under the JetBrains github repository you can take a look at that they also have some samples they have a sample for calculating uh, the logic using calculator um, something similar to what I wrote but yeah they have it so one more thing I have wanted to show so I forgot that so if you notice here um, the variables which I am creating okay it is all common right so this is created only once however there is an option to run everything before each test case so I can just say before each test okay and I can assign that fizzbuzz variable here okay and I can create the object here so basically this will work okay so what it hap what happens is every time you run a test case this creates an object here so you can do that as well I just wanted to cover that I, I missed that part but yeah um, you can do that okay so if I remove this what happens when you when I remove this can you guess what happens when I remove this so if you notice here there is an um, compiler error saying that variable must be initialized so if I initialize this to null can I initialize this to null no right you can't initialize this to null because in Kotlin you have to mention this special keyword right this question mark basically you are telling the compiler that okay this particular variable can be null and I am assigning null directly here but I can even assign fizzbuzz also it will not complain right so for simplicity I am assigning null but I need to handle those null in the implementation part so if you notice here it is complaining here saying okay only safe or non null assertions calls are allowed so in that case what do we need to do is we have to do this way again so you are just casting it as a type safe check right so if even if the uh, fizzbuzz is null this will not throw a null pointer exception instead it will throw a null it will just return a null it will not throw any exception so yeah if I run this case test case again 
so it should work that's what my expectation is so for every test case it creates a new instance so you do you want to do that right sometimes when you write test cases you want to do something every uh, for every test case same way there is an um, after each so if you see the test cases have passed so there is an after each test group so you can do whatever you want so you can uh, you can even as in every time you can just nullify that so you can do that as well right so it is similar to JUnit if you are writing a JUnit test if I, I just showed the JUnit right in JUnit what you would have done is you would have written um, before and test or before class whatever annotations are there in JUnit so you will start doing that right so it is similar to that so specs provide uh, spec provides all those uh, functionalities the only difference between spec and the JUnit is it is a BTD style approach so you can you can ri write a uh, test in the form of BDD style like you can describe the behavior of the test and start writing tests for it so you can also even use a given on an it so in this example I have showed a describe on it you can even say given you can do the same thing basically it's just another style of BDD so you can do given on an it or describe on it so I, I prefer describe on it so that is why I showed the describe on it example so that's it for this particular video if you liked the video go ahead and hit the like button if you uh, like my channel go ahead and subscribe it if you want to get frequent updates go ahead and click the bell icon so you will get the updates frequently so that's it for this video meet you again in the next video thank you